In terms of using the technology, we know that technology can increase motivation, creativity, independence, critical thinking, and those are all skills that I want my students to be fostering and their future students. So I try to use as much technology as I can in my classroom so that they will do the same thing in the future. As the technology has become more advanced, I've been able to get information out to my students much quicker and more convenient and larger amounts of information. I've been able to organize content and method all together using WebCT so that my students can get access to it quickly and very efficiently. It's also allowed me to present information and content in the classroom much easier and it's allowed me to branch my classroom out into different areas. WebCT has really been um, a big part of my learning. It, I like being able to go online, be able to download and print off PowerPoint presentations that enable me to be prepared for the class, to be able to take notes on, to be able to refer back to when I'm studying. That really helps in being able to determine what the teacher feels is important because the things that are quizzed on there and the quizzes that are able to be taken multiple times really helps um, reinforce your learning and your understanding of the subject and the discussion boards that WebCT has gives you an opportunity outside of class to interact with your fellow students and with the teacher. I think probably the number one benefit to the technology that I use in my courses for the students is that my whole intent is to be able to use the technology as a role model for them when they're future teachers. This is the Canon Visualizer. I've used it every day since school started. The largest benefit is the fact that all the students' entire class looks at the same thing at the same time. I have Professor Dilworth for both textiles and clothing construction and it makes the classroom a lot easier. Before we used to use these little pick glasses and try to look through them and see the fibers like if it's a weave or a knit. Now we could just easily look up at the projector and it gives a lot bigger picture, it makes to see the weave and knit a lot easier. On clothing construction, I can actually show the sample I made. Otherwise, it was 20 to 22 people standing around a sewing machine and not being able to see. So now my technique is I make the sample, they watch me make the sample, and then I can bring it over here just immediately and they can all see it on the screen. It makes it a lot easier to ask questions and you know that everyone's on the same page. It's wonderful. I have wanted one for about three years, so I've got it. I teach all of the oral training courses for our music majors. Oral training is a course which is required. It is a skills-based course consisting of those non-written essential skills that all musicians should have. Since it is a skills-based course, it's very difficult for a student to study. As a result, they have to have some way of practicing these skills, either with my help or with a tutor or on their own. In the event that they're unable to find a tutor or they need more time than I'm able to give them, they have the opportunity using the software package to come into the computer lab and study on their own time and at their own pace. It helps a lot for when you're outside of the classroom to build up your own individual skills. And I feel like I'll be more prepared as a music educator um, and especially if I want to you know, use that with my students as well, it's probably a good option for me. The digital weather station that the department purchased um, helps to do three things. We use it to do three things. Uh, the first thing is that um, the broadcast meteorology students in the broadcast meteorology practicum use it to collect, analyze, interpret, and communicate weather information. And the second way is that students enrolled in weather and climate use it to complete a weather observation project. And then the third way is that we provide information to the campus and to the community. There's a program that we use called Visual Communicator and that allows us to use the green screen and do kind of a chroma key where we can actually practice broadcasting with it and that is a huge benefit before because a lot of people don't have that before they actually try to get into the real business so 
um, it makes it really easy for us to try and, you know, a lot more practice, a lot more experience doing it. It um, provides students, when they leave Eastern, with the ability to um, analyze, interpret, problem solve, recognize patterns for any aspect of their future path.